Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to customize your Windows 11 taskbar and start menu uh, with a program called Start All Back. So this program will cost you five bucks if you like it. They give you a hundred day trial first. So I definitely think it's worth the five dollars if you want to get some additional functionality back to Windows 11. So once you install it, it's a real quick install. It'll pop up the menu for you on how to configure it. But if you ever close it, you might have some trouble finding where to do that because it doesn't put anything under your programs. It actually puts it in the control panel. So you'll have to come back here to, to add some additional configuration. So once you're there, you click on it to open it up. So the first thing you do is you just kind of get a general overview. If you want to Windows, keep your Windows 11 kind of look with the new rounded icons and colors. Or if you want to do the kind of 10, which kind of switches it to a little, little more Windows 10 looking. Or if you want to go a little bit older to a Windows 7 kind of look. And it kind of tells you what each thing does here for the um, for each uh, setting. So I like the proper 11. Might as well keep the newer look. Okay, so then you have your start menu. So you have various options here for flyouts, uh, apps and folders, and then you know features like when you install something new, you might remember that it highlights that folder on your start menu. So you could turn that on and off. So here's the start menu, by the way. So it's kind of the Windows 7 looking when you got your all programs and everything here. So that highlight menu with, you know, let's say I just installed Dropbox, that would be highlighted in this list. Okay, submenus, uh, your search options. So what I would do is if you want to try this is just kind of come here and turn them on and off and, and you know see what the difference is because there's so many items here. Now this one's kind of a cool feature here, the right side item. So when you click here, this is the stuff here. So like for documents, you could have it not display, so we turn that off. So now documents is gone. You could have the link. Now documents is there with just a link that you click on that'll take you to documents. Or if you do the menu, then you have a little arrow here with the menu where you could get right to your items without opening the documents folder. So you could do that for all these uh, attributes here, turn them on or off, or to use the link or menu. Some of them will only have a link or menu choice depending on what it is. And then your power button default if, right here. If you want it to be something different besides shutdown, you could pick one of these options or just put everything back to default. And then taskbar. So we have like the newer start button here if you want to use you know that or Windows 10 looking or Windows 7 looking, I guess. And then if you want to do the flyouts styles, you could do that. And then taskbar location, you know, if you want to do put it on the right. Default to bottom. If you want to put it in the center, like you do for uh, Windows 11 defaults, you can have a little segment. So let's say you have stuff open, it'll kind of cut off the taskbar. If you want to do, uh, you know, just have the active part of the taskbar showing, and then any free space will be uh, transparent there. Uh, Explorer is pretty cool. So let's say you have Windows Explorer. Oh, let's see, did I miss something here? No. Yeah. One of the main things I like right here is the uh, hide. And combine thing because let's say you have two uh, folders open let's say in file explorer or two word documents open see how it combines them into one but if you put this on either when taskbar is full or never then it splits them up like the good old days so you could have a separate thing so i always like that thought that was cool so it's something that they're probably going to bring back to windows 11 but we don't know when all right back to explore so you have your windows 11 command bar which is you know with all these icons here you want to use the Windows 10, you got to open a new folder to have it apply. So then we have the Windows 10 kind of ribbon uh, buttons and icons there. And if you want to go Windows 7 style, you could have it this, this kind of organized type of layout like we had back in Windows 7. So that's up to you what you want to do. Um, we actually have a, a video on how to change this back without having to use this to the Windows 10 style by doing a registry edit if you want to check that out. Okay, then the search box options, if you want to do the classic search option, uh, that, or if you want to show the details pane, uh, colorize options. Actually, in the taskbar, there's some color options too. Oh, no, they're under advanced. Okay, so uh, start menu coloring. If you want to check this, you want to pick a different color. Let's say you want a pink pink uh, start menu and you could adjust the hue too like that turn it off here uh, taskbar coloring same thing you want to do clear blur it 
add a cut. Let me go back to acrylic looking, custom color, that type of thing. And then you have your recent uh, items under here. If you want to have that enabled or not, or you could clear it. So for programs and other items, and the new font for the classic UI, and the jump, lip, jump list items. So like if you right click on a word icon there, you could have your jump list. So you could uh, decide how many items you want in your jump list. Then the about is just a way to enter a license key. And if you don't want to use this, so if you want to keep it there, but revert back to the way things were, then you could click on this disable program for current user and then log off and log back in, then you'll then everything will be back to normal. So you could still have it without uninstalling it. So, but if, of course, if you just want to get rid of it for good, you could just go uninstall it like you would any other program. So that's just a quick overview. I'll put a link in the description where you could download it. And like I said, you get the 100 day trial for, and then it's five bucks after that. So if you want all this functionality, it's a pretty good deal. All right. Well, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.